Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Justino Lee Brown. like you're on a little short tour through Bavaria from festival to festival. You've been performing at Burghausen yes. at the weekend and now you're at the Blues Target. <laughs> yes. Yeah. How, uh, is it something special playing festivals? Is it different compared to other shows? Now, festivals has been part of me since the beginning of my career. So it's been, in the blues scene, it's been a 10 to 12 years of journey, but my musical career has been 20 years. So in 20 years, I've been doing a lot of festivals back in Nigeria, back in, in here around Europe. So for me, it's, I'm used to it, you know. In five days, I can be in five countries. So <laughs> it's part of my job as, a, as, a, as an entertainer, as an artist. So for me, it's, it's beautiful and it's, it's part of my lifestyle now. <laughs> You started your career in, back in Nigeria. Yes. Now you're living in. I'm living in Switzerland mm. and also part in Paris. How did it happen to get to Switzerland? Uh, I fell in love with a German. I was a, a pop star in my country, and he came to Nigeria to do some work. And he came to one of my concerts, and it was love at first sight. <laughs> We met young, 21-year-old Justina and this German guy living in Switzerland, and we fell in love. We had a beautiful relationship for six years together and when he left my country he was lonely and missing me and he said you have to come to Europe I've never been to Europe I was like I don't know nobody here I don't know this country I'm happy in my country and before you know it I took the bold step to come and I came and it was Switzerland he was living in Switzerland Zurich and I saw this beautiful land I was like wow this place is beautiful. And yet also doing, I had the chance to discover more of the music that I have in my heart, which is the blues. And in my country, we were doing more of pop music. And I was so happy to stay. I stayed not because of my boyfriend, but because of the music I found, which is the blues, to share it more. The blues is your music, but not the traditional blues. It's, it's the basics of everything, but you offer so many different facets. You have soul in it, you have African influences put in, gospel, a little bit of everything. How did, it, did you develop this kind of style, quote unquote? Okay, I think it's also to the foundation of my music, is because the way I grew up, I became like a hustler of music. You know, when you hustle to become a, a, a good in everything, I had to become that because as a young girl being in the street and struggling to survive with my mother, so I had to become the hustler of the family to go out to get money that we can survive. So in the process of getting money, I knew I had a voice, but how can I use it that I'm available for everybody? So I became the jack of all trade <laughs> in the sense that if they needed a, a voice for a pop song in the studio, I'm there. I tell, I can sing it. If they needed a pop a voice for a jazz song, I can sing it. If they needed a song for... So I became, I started to do everything from the age of 14. So I never knew that I was creating a foundation of things that would live with me forever. So now growing up as a woman and f 
finding my own feet in the music, I realized that I have gift in all the genre of music. The most important is the soul and the blues for me and with my African roots. And I cannot let that away. I cannot say, oh, because I love the blues, I cannot just stick to the traditional blues. I have to show the world that I have other things inside. That's the mixture of everything, but the foundation is the blues. Working with Swiss musicians, your band, how long are you working with them already? Okay, this band that is on tour with me now, they've been with me now for five and a half years now. We've been on tour for five, since the beginning of my last album, the Black and White Feeling album. So we did the tour, went around Europe and America and around Switzerland. So yeah, so they've been working with me for, I would say, six years. But before I was working with different bands and different projects, like more blues band, Latvian blues band, many different blues band around Europe. Because then I've not started my own personal project. You're also singing in a cover band <laughs> in, in, in Switzerland, United Nations. Now this actually, United Nations was my first band I created in Europe when I first started as Justina in Europe. So then I've not created my own sound that will fit the European market, the new market, because I had more of Afrobeat music where I'm coming from, Nigeria. And so I created United Nation because all my band members were all from different parts of the world. I had an American, I have Canadian, I had a, a two Africans and I had one Swiss. So for me, it was a United Nation, you know. So we started as the first band and then as time went on, I drifted, I created my sound. I knew, okay, this is how I want to sound. Then I involved in different other projects and then now I started the Justina Lee Brown Band. In 2020 uh, you took part in the International Blues Challenge in Memphis and got to the semi-finals and it looked like uh, a new career would be starting also in America and then the pandemic hit. Yes, this was a big shock for us. We had a lot of festivals that wanted us in America or in Canada and in Las Vegas, a lot of places, and we were looking forward. And then when we came back, we also had about 87 concerts across Europe. And we came back and everything was shot down from one day to the next. I had a really, <laughs> almost a heart attack, because that's the first time someone is taking the music away from me, because the music has been my companion, my friend, and everything that I had. So from one day to the next, I cannot be on stage anymore. And because of music, I was, able to overcome all the stress and the whatever I was dealing with, you know? But then pandemic came, so I had to face my demons. I have to heal my broken self from young Justina. And I took the time, instead of being sad, I took the time to heal and 
write my new album. <laughs> okay, Tristita. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you so much. It's a funky, happy song, okay? And it's on my way because I'm always on the road, you know? <laughs> always on my way to somewhere. Always. But right now, I'm here with you. So you ready? So let's do it together. Oh 